Hi friends! Welcome to episode 54 of Anna Yutinitz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel Anna Yutinitz. My name is Annina and this is a video journal here on YouTube where I share behind the scenes about my knitwear designs and my knitting adventures. In today's episode, I have actually quite a few finished objects. I have a new knit along, I have a pattern release, I have a finished design. So it's a full on episode. And also, most importantly, I have a whip that is no longer a whip, but an FO from two years ago. So that's exciting. Let's start. Uh, today's business. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Anne Juti Knits and you can find me on Ravelry as Anne Juti, but I have to say I'm not that active there. So if you have something you would like to ask or tell me or uh, whatever, you can contact me on Instagram via direct message or you can send me an email at annejutinits um, at gmail.com. And that way you can you can reach me uh, the best. Uh, I also have a newsletter. If you are not subscribed to my newsletter yet, um, I I make this newsletter for for my um, subscribers um, so that you can get exclusive discounts, and I will also announce my test needs over there. So if you are interested in any of those things, then there is a link in the direct, um, in the description box below. And I will try and link everything that I can also there. So if you have something you would like to have a closer look, it will be in the box down below. I think that was all. <laughs> that was all the admin that I had. Um, Let's start. Uh, this was actually a finished um, object already last last week. I had just um, casting off or binding off to do, and that was because I was planning on making a tutorial video. So that's why it does it wasn't ready. Plumage socks. They are now out. The pattern has been released and you can find the pattern in my Ravelry store. And if by any means there is um, a problem, you can't access Ravelry and you would still uh, enjoy my patterns. There is always a way we can um, discuss about that. I can arrange a PayPal um, payment and I can directly send it to you via email if that's if that's something that you need. But yeah, plumage socks are textured lacy socks. And there's a heel flap and gusset and they are actually worked from toe up. So it starts with the slip stitch toe. It's a durable toe. It's actually now the second time that I'm using it. And um, I like it makes a sturdy, sturdy toe. And um, yeah, it's finished off with a tubular, not tubular, as Professor Pearl and Nicole has mentioned quite a few times, tubular cast on, cast off, and Italian, uh, or tubular bind off and Italian sewn bind off is two different things and this is uh just the sewn bind off and um i think it creates a beautiful edge and yeah i love it and this is now <laughs> the pair that kicks off the fall of socks knit along and this is now the second year that i'm doing that and um fall of socks is a knit along for all my sock patterns. It can be one of those free patterns that I have. It can be old pattern. It can be stranded color work. It can be one of these fingering sock patterns. 
you can knit any of my sock patterns um, between September 1st and October 31st and by the end of it I will be drawing some winners uh, for some prizes and um, it's just a fun way to knit some socks because socks is something that I love and I know so many of you love as well so knit some socks with me and I will be publishing three new patterns for the fall of socks if I manage to push those patterns out <laughs> but this is now out and um, there is um, there is a 15% discount for all of my sock patterns and it is valid now uh, until the end of this knit along. So it also means that if you want to uh, purchase these new patterns, they are all 15% off during the whole two months. This yarn is by Camijo um, or Camilla from Camijo Knit and she has a podcast she is a yarn dyer and the colorway is called camilla's favorite mug and i absolutely adore this colorway was that enough <laughs> ramble about the knit-alongs i think so um yeah i'm really happy i i managed to push this out it was um quite a tight schedule and I keep doing this to myself I don't know why but sometimes it would be nice to be all prepared and ready ahead of time but it always goes into the last minute and <laughs> that's just my life and I don't see a change here okay my second finished object is now the one that I think this is the most um, likable picture that I have published this year. Um, actually not, but very close. Um, I posted on Instagram a picture of me wearing my leggings. <laughs> and it got so many comments, so many comments. Um, maybe, I will, maybe I will put a picture here of me wearing them and uh, it was a marathon it really was um, I started these two years ago and they are as you can see very scrappy leggings um, I've talked about these quite a few times but I will talk about them one last time uh, this was a pattern by drops design um they are free patterns that you can actually find quite a few leggings patterns and all sorts of sweater patterns there um but i'm very particular with my pants especially um i like my waist to be high i need i need some shaping uh so that the back uh and the front are even so i did start to modify so basically what i did take from the pattern i used the pattern rhoda and what i did was i took the stitch counts and i think it had like a two by two rib i i did one by one because i thought that it's it's better i made some short rows already on the ribbing as you can see it's lower in the front and higher at the back and the pattern had this panel and um, i think that's pretty much where the similarities end um, i did start increasing as the pattern su suggested but then i was like trying them on and and i did my increase rates as i thought was good i didn't really follow the pattern um but i did um now i'm gonna flash the crotch area so um sorry about that but 
you essentially you knit like panties and this construction was new to me um actually i had done one pair of of baby woolly pants so i had made it once but this was now the adult size so basically what you do you increase towards your thighs and then you split split um split legs and then you i think you took like 10 10 stitches maybe yeah there's like a panel of 10 stitches and then you just knit back knit back and forward forth knit back and forth uh like a strip that goes between your legs and then there's like their first they are like panties and then you pick up from the edge of the flap and you make the legs i don't know how clear i was <laughs> but um you got yeah then eventually you get this type of pants um i started with the darker bits that i had and then they are pretty similar in color not all the rows are the same because I used scraps so I just divided everything roughly half and I was trying to somewhat match the colors and this is how they turn out I think they are pretty scrappy I think um, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of these colors um, although they are all my favorite colors <laughs> I held two strands of fingering weight throughout the whole thing um, I think here I have some DK which was variegated uh, but the rest of the thing has just two fingering weight yarns together I held some merino some baby merino some woolier sock yarns and um, I was trying to divide them uh, <laughs> so that I would always have like a soft yarn and then like a not so soft yarn so that they the the overall feel remains the same they are not prickly at all i did wear them just over my underwear and um it felt fine uh, one thing that actually i got quite a few quite a few um messages also on instagram asking how the fit and how the how the ribbing holds well, it doesn't hold. It's merino and it's it's very floppy. Even though I tried to make it very tight, it stretched out immediately when I pull them out, pull them up. So I actually already have measured a piece of elastic. I'm using a wide elastic, and you could knit a stockinette like um what's the like a casing but i'm not gonna do that because i'm lazy if i want these to be finally 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 done and like not waiting for an elastic band for the next two years i will just take my sewing machine out and i will zigzag zigzag the elastic to the waist you can always undo it if if it doesn't work out but um i'm pretty positive that it it is going to work out um yeah i'm pretty happy with these i'm so happy they are done uh i wish they were done already a year ago because now um <laughs> i'm not quite the same size anymore so they are stretched over my <laughs> behind um quite a bit but the legs are fine and i think the elastic waist will help me um with the fit but yeah they weigh approximately 500 grams so i'm very happy this is now out of my uh, whip pile and i can actually wear them in the coming months because it's it's getting cold pretty soon i think that was a big massive finished object and another finished object now i'm just eyeballing my one of my finished object is 
right behind the camera on the couch but i'll just show these first and then i will take that from there um if you are not new to this channel um you probably know that i love making socks i love making vanilla socks especially and this is a pair that i just finished um there's nothing fancy this is completely the idea has been stolen from <laughs> k the crazy sock lady like a little contrast on the cuff and then a contrasting heel and they are just my vanilla pair with a round star toe round toe which i've been enjoying I just love the way this fits and it doesn't matter if if the sock like shifts on your foot a bit because it always fits the same way it doesn't have sides like the wedge toe has so it's it's i think it's very comfortable to wear and to me it fits really really nicely so this is what i've been doing this year quite a bit i don't know i just liked <laughs> i just like doing that so it works works for me there are two two different dyers um the other one is a finnish dyer called ruskanlehti and she has dyed this main color uh which is called hiekoitettu asfaltti and the second color is camijonet yarn and it is a colorway oyster shell but yeah just the basic basic vanilla socks and um those were my third finished object now on to the big one i'm super 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 happy about this one too because i finally finally finished my coastland shawl but you have to excuse me for a bit because i need to pick it up I finally finished this shawl and I have actually already written up the pattern. Uh, I have two testers that were knitting with me and <laughs> it's so big, it's already scrunched up. I did take some pictures today, so I'll just show how I ended it. This is how the tip looks. So you start from, from the long edge. I've shown this quite a few times already. And then you work decreasing all the way with the lace panel going on the side and then with the tip. It's huge. I have two sizes in the pattern. Uh, they don't deviate too much, but if you are not sure about your yarn um, consumption or you want to play it safe there are two different sizes uh, the other one is five motifs smaller but it actually does make a big difference into the size because it is such such a long shawl I will pop it on for you guys It's absolutely massive, <laughs> but I think it's perfect because it's fingering weight. And I really now get the hype with the linen quill. So this is made with Pearl Soho linen quill. And uh, the colorway is called Pink Honey or Honey Pink. Which one? Honey Pink, I think. I just said it wrong. Yeah, Honey Pink. This is what I have left. <laughs> um yeah so linen quill honey pink and i used 290 grams for for this shawl and uh yeah it's quite huge and i love it 
I think this is the perfect size. This is how I wear my shawls. I don't tend to wear them as like um, over my shoulders. This is how I wear them. And if I'm cold, I can just tuck it lower. Or not. Where is the end? There you go. Let's put it down there. But it's such a big shawl that I can even place it, wrap it over my shoulders and wear it as, as a neck scarf as well. I love it. And I think you will love it too. And this pattern is probably going to be out maybe in the next month or so. I, I have no idea. Um, I'm not actually sure if I should still have someone knit it because I really could use some photographs. Um, I have two testers and I'm pretty sure they will agree taking a picture for me, but usually I have more testers than two. So it would be nice if someone would be interested in making this shawl and um, agreeing, taking a picture, a good picture of it. So I could, could have some more pictures for the pattern. I don't know. If you are interested, you can definitely send me an email if, if that's something that you would be willing to do. There would be no deadline and I probably, probably would release the pattern before, but I would give the pattern if I know that you will take some pictures and I can use them. But yeah, it's hot, so I will take it off now. I will put a picture here on the side that I just took today and uh, you can see, you can see how it looks on me. I'm really pleased. It did soften and it's the drape is just so beautiful. It's amazing. Uh, and this is such a mindless knit. I can imagine the people that enjoy the half and half wrap would enjoy this one as well because it's a similar construction than one of the halves but it has some interest you have an eight row pattern repeat on the side but it only is worked with 21 stitches so it's actually pretty mindless and at least at least i did and i know my testers testers did too um find it quite easy to memorize. So it's just a perfect um, TV knitting or socializing with your knitting friends and then knitting on this one. But yeah, Coastland Shawl uh, pattern will be out this fall. I have no idea when, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out eventually. Um, it was a very rainy day today, so I was hoping to take some pictures outside, but not today, maybe over the weekend when my husband also gets home. And um, yeah. One thing about the needle along that I forgot to say, um, if you are a maker or a designer and you would like to donate some prices, um, please contact me via email uh, at anniyotenits, no, at, not, not at anniyotenits at gmail.com. So if you want to participate or if you are just a friend of the channel and you would like to donate some prices, then please don't hesitate contacting me because it would be so fun, fun to include your prices as well. Okay, that's all my finished objects. And I think that was... That was pretty good, I, I think. Um, I have... What do I have? I have another sock project. I did show it already last time. I'll just quickly show it again, if I can place it. It was here on the floor. Um, this is kind of a project that I don't know if, if I should show it again because I haven't done much but I will show it anyway because it was so bright and fun um, this is the sock that I showed you already last time 
and um, this is now the second sock it has been on my handbag and i've done a couple of rounds last time i just had the green so i've done the leg uh next onto the heel and then it will go back to my handbag and uh, be my handbag knitting i've been trying to eliminate my ongoing projects and um I have, I have actually succeeded pretty well. Um, I did film in July, uh, my whip parade, and I did make some promises. And actually I could show you my notes. So, um, we started off by, or I started, why do I keep saying we? <laughs> Um, I think I had six weeks and my goal is goal was to finish as many of these whips that I can. And I can honestly say that this was the game changer. Like without this list, I don't think I would have um, eliminated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight eight projects well one of them i did frog but it was elimination <laughs> and um so i did finish eight of the projects that i wrote here i did write 13 so i will still have these these five no i wrote actually 14 right yeah no 12 i can't count um i had 12 and now i have four left so i am planning on uh making a new list actually i did already make a new list and because this method is clearly working so i am trying to reduce the count of my whips because i have so many new ideas and i really want to free my head free my mind from all of those old stuff whips so i didn't manage to do all of them which is understandable there was quite a few of them and i am going to i did change or i did switch switch shift <laughs> I moved these four here and then I added two more of my older whips. So there is these Black Lodge socks. I have managed to do like a little bit. I think I worked on them one evening, but uh, I don't know. Even though my husband has been away for two weeks, I just, I've been so busy with all the pattern releasing and, and all the things that I just haven't got around working on them i did manage to make like two centimeters and this is now my next ma major or my main next main thing to work on because these have a deadline and the deadline is the 29th of september our ready wedding anniversary so I need to make these and keep them as a secret. So this is something that is high up on the list. And my painting brick socks, I actually don't have them here now. They are here on the pile, but I'm not going to take them out because I'm not sure where they are. I haven't done anything with them since I last showed them, but actually I made some good progress uh this month or actually august so i have i'm confident that those will get done as well and my amidala sweater which is a sweater from last winter that i made this is my own design and actually i don't know why i stopped well, I do know, because I was trying to make this for my brother and it didn't work out. It was the wrong size and all. 
Uh, so I made it for myself and I was like, I am still a little bit hesitant about the, the cuff. I kind of imagined this being like this, this is such warm um, sweater. It is from, it is from Finnish Sheep Wool. Uh, it's this Yellow Villa. Yellow Villa Wool. Yep. It's a DK weight, but it knits up as worsted, I think. Or more worsted than DK. And this is a natural black, which actually, to my eyes, it's brown. And um, this yarn was actually gifted for this design. And I did contact her last uh, winter that I'm not going to get it out for that winter. So I am planning, I already actually did uh, put some needles here. So I took it off, uh, off from the from the cord and I did put some needles in. So next up I will be finishing this sleeve and writing up this pattern because I think now would be a great time finishing this up and then get it into testing and release it in January or February. That would be my plan. And actually now that I was trying it on, I was like, yeah, I love this fit. Only thing that I'm not loving is the very shallow cuff. I am imagining it being folded cuff. So I would, I probably will just uh, pick, unpick this, uh, bind off and then make it double the length and then folding it back because I am in, imagining it being very warm and cozy, cozy, cozy um, sweater. I have some Peruvian Highland wool and some mystery Finnish wool uh, in a cone that I would love to make a second sample with and I actually thinking I'm thinking of making that for my friend because she is smaller and um I can I don't need <laughs> I don't need so many of these for myself and it's quicker to make if I'm making the size two so that's my plan actually with this one but definitely loving these colors and this feels it's rustic, it's not soft as a cloud, but it feels very fuzzy and warm and thick. And I am imagining wearing this also like as an outer layer in the winter. So that is definitely a September priority and also writing it up so that I can get it into testing. And yeah, I am actually pretty happy about this and it's fun to get excited all over again with your own work because it's um yeah they have all been just piled up and i have not even remembered what else do i have there so it's good to go through your whips every once in a while and fall in love with your makes all over again and then um one that is nearly done i'm just missing one sleeve is my ranunculus it's also on the back in the basket and it's tucked in there so i'm not going to take it out and i also put the spike sweater here because i was imagining wearing it this fall and i'm well on the way It is just a fingering weight sweater that takes a long time to make, but <coughs> <coughs> sorry, um, it's all the dust goes up to my nose. Yeah, I have been, I've been working on this every now and again, but I, I have the transitioning going from one skein to another and I am alternating skeins for i think i had like 10 grams left of um uh, of the previous color 
I still have a nugget here, maybe five grams. And um, I'm alternating skeins, not throughout the whole project, but just, just enough so that the skeins will blend in together. Uh, this is also from Ruskanlehti, this uh, brown, and the gray is from Gettunets. Uh, Jana, she is uh, a Finnish dyer as well, and you probably know her as Finnish Knitting Stories here on YouTube. And um, this gray is from her collection, and I made the bio pullover with this gray, and I had some left, so that's also going into rotation now that <clears throat> um i'm on my journey to finish up all the things that i have here i don't think i will ever get down to five whips i don't i don't think i have that in me but it would be nice to get the number down to less than 10. Then I have my uh, two new uh, designs for this uh, Fall of Socks cow. And um, I have already made some progress with the first one. And this is how it looks so far. This is the front and then there's a surprise in the back. There's some lace work lace work behind the ankle um i just stopped because well i'm a short person and i have very muscular calves so i can't wear very high socks like 60 round leg is way too much for me it's like i it it doesn't go up and it doesn't stay up if it goes up because it's like the shape of my the shape of my ankle and my calf it's like the the measurement between my ankle and my calf is there's such a big difference and uh my my sweet spot is 40 rounds and this is now a 40 round leg uh, but i am thinking maybe i should add to the pattern another length um uh, like 60 gra 60 rounds um it would be like easy just to say that follow this and follow that but i like like my charts to be whole so because they are shifting in different um rates i would need to make a whole ch whole chart but i actually i already did um uh, i did that al al already so I may have to just put a few more things uh, into the pattern because I definitely think that it would be more suitable for more people if there is a 60 round leg option as well. But yeah, um, I am in the need of, of your help. Please suggest a name for these socks. And um, with the plumage socks, I made a rookie error. Um, I didn't check the hashtag, I didn't check the name, um, but I am already too deep, <laughs> I was already too, uh, in too deep, uh, so I couldn't change the name. Uh, there's now another, or actually two, uh, plumage sock patterns, and the other one is also used on Instagram, but there were just a few pictures, maybe five, so I'm not going to let that disturb me and uh, I'll just make sure that I won't use a name that has already been used again. It's not a crime to use the same name uh, or the same hashtag, but if you want to be original, if you want your uh, design to be um, found, then uh, a shared <laughs> hashtag is not a good idea, but uh, well, First, I had um, another name in mind, but it was such, it was so hard. I just had this stupid children's song in my head that has these names of fishes, and the fish in Finnish is called Tere, which was like you can't 
you can't have a pattern called, called that and um, then it's in English it is a gudgeon I don't even know if if that's the way it, it should be said but it's not very it's not very good name <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't change I didn't I didn't uh, pick that one I picked the plumage because I had I thought that this looks like like feathers or like yeah so it's plumage but it's already been used so please suggest the name for these socks um i would really appreciate if you help me find a name because apparently i'm not very good at that and that's no secret because most of my patterns have been patterns have been named by other people and my viewers and my sister because you are just more innovative with that than I am. One last thing that I'm going to show you is just the yarn for the next, except that I don't have it, no, always I do. Um, so the last design for this Fall of Socks Cal is going to be a stripy socks, stripy sock pattern with some color work. And these are the colors that I'm using. No surprises there. <laughs> I'm also going to add white. And that's also something that I will be starting in the next couple of days, I think. But I would uh, definitely love to finish the first sock for the, the lace and the cable sock. And I would really appreciate if you could come up with a name suggestion for me. And yeah, I think I have rumbled enough for today. I have a couple of new, I have a collection of accessories coming up, uh, but I'm not going to share them yet. There were so many things today and I want to have something to talk about in the next episode. So I will be sharing that then, but I have already started some accessories and I am also very excited about that. But I will talk about that later. And um, I don't think I have too many things to tell anymore um, private life wise. So I will just end it here. And if you have, a good suggestion please write your comment down below and i'll be happy to hear what you have have to say thank you so much for watching until the end it really means a lot thank you already for the support of my work um i'm really happy if you are interested in joining my cal a pair of socks in two months is is something that you probably could do and um until next time, I will see you in two weeks' time. Bye! Happy knitting!